Praise the Lord. And I thank God for giving us another opportunity to spend a few minutes in the word of God. Greetings to all my listeners in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For today's devotion we are continuing in the book of Joshua. Today we are going to look at chapter 13 of Joshua. Book of Joshua chapter 13 verse 1 we read. The Lord is speaking to Joshua and says, You are old and um, stricken in years, and there remains yet very much land to be possessed. Verse 7 Now therefore divide the land for an inheritance unto the tribes. And in verse 14, we read that Joshua divided the land among the tribes. But only unto the tribe of Levites he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance. Also in verse 33 we read about the inheritance of Levites. Verse 33 we read, but unto the tribe of Levites, Moses gave not any inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto them. The Levites' portion was of the Lord's. The Old Testament priests were Levites. As believers, we are now New Testament Levites, New Testament priests. We are priests. Hallelujah. What a blessed highest position God has placed us. Our inheritance is the Lord. Majority of the Israelites got their inheritance, got their lands, but Levites got no land. Their portion was of the Lord's. We get all of Jesus as believers. We just grab him. Need to take more and more of Jesus. Every day, every moment, we need to Come closer and closer and get to know him more and more. As the psalmist says, taste and see that the Lord is good. We need to taste him more and more. Israelites were supposed to go and get more and more of their promised lands. When we go to the New Testament book, Philippians chapter 3 verses 7 through 12, Paul is talking about the inheritance in Christ. Philippines chapter 3 verses 7 through 12 But what things were gained to me those I counted loss for Christ Yea doubtless and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and to count them but dung, that I may win Christ. More of Christ. Verse 9, And be found in him, not having mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith, that I may know him, the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death. Here Paul is saying that he may know him, the power of his resurrection, the fellowship of his suffering, conformable unto his death. 
if by any means i might attain unto the resurrection of the dead not as though i had already attained either were already perfect but i follow after if that i may apprehend that for which also i am apprehended of christ jesus in verse 13 brother and i count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before getting more and more of jesus jesus is all to us we need to walk in him go after him enjoy all heavenly blessings as paul says we may know him we may know the power of his resurrection and we may know the fellowship of his sufferings and being made conformable unto his death we need to know him more and more press on we need to press on to make him our own jesus is all to us walk in him and go after him enjoy all heavenly blessings be thou my vision o lord of my heart not be all else to me save that thou art thou my best thought by day or by night waking or sleeping thy presence my light riches i heed not nor men seem to praise thou my inheritance now and always thou and the holy first in my heart high king of heaven my 